Welcome back to Live at 5 at 4. Tomorrow marks the end of an era as all television stations, including Channel 10, will turn off their analog signals, the signals that we have known for so long. That means people with older model TVs, this is Dan, by the way, <laughs> many of you know him. We're, we're going to talk to him thanks, in a moment. Thanks. I'm just not ignoring him. <laughs> uh, many of you with older model TVs with antennas will need a DTV converter box, okay? If you're using a converter box, there are still some things you're going to need to do, and Dan is here to help us uh, with that. Dan with Claris Networks. Dan Thompson, good to see you, Dan. Thanks, thanks. It's good to be here. So, yeah, like you were mentioning, the switch is tomorrow. I mean, finally, this is it. Finally, yes, yes. We had okay. a brief delay, but now it's on tomorrow. It's actually a 12.30 Seven, I believe, is when you guys are switching. Uh, so the next time we see your smiling face on TV, it'll be in digital. Yeah. Does that make you nervous at all? Yeah, that's going to be a <laughs> little frightening. So okay, go, Dan. Just sure, lead us sure. On this so thing. what we need to do to prepare for this thing and really be ready um, tomorrow? Actually, when we make the switch, there's going to be some things kind of going on in the background that are going to require us to rescan all our channels. Um, so if you got your digital converter box a while back, or you just have a new TV that's already got the the uh, tuner built in, um, you've probably already set up your channels. Tomorrow morning, we're going to kind of throw a, runky, a monkey wrench at you. You're going to have to rescan those channels. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, on this particular model, all we have to do is actually hit menu. Um, it'll run through. You'll see system setup, something to that effect, and it'll say rescan. If you have a problem, obviously pull out your manual. It'll tell you how to do it. Uh, but again, we're going to have to rescan those channels. Uh, so if, it, if it, you hit menu and it says rescan or retune, you just yeah, hit just that hit, and it'll do it and you're fine. That's right, that's right. Retune, you'll watch it, start scanning through all the channels. It'll tell you I found, you know, one channel, two channels, three channels. It'll just kind of roll through them all again. Okay. You'll be up, ready to go, and you won't have to fiddle with it again, which is good. Okay. Um, you know, some other things that we've been hearing from viewers is they're saying, you know, um, I've noticed since I've got my digital antenna out that some of the channels, I don't get them anymore, whereas used to, I could with, it'd be a little bit fuzzy. Right. And that's really kind of the difference between analog and digital signaling is before you could get a fuzzy station with digital digital, either get it or you don't. Uh, so one of the things what you'll want to do is play with your antenna a little bit, okay. see if you don't get those channels again, and you may want to consider upgrading to a newer antenna. Uh, you know, if you talk to your neighbors and they're getting channels that you're not, you may want to play around with the positioning. Uh, and then again, you'll have to rescan your channels once again after you do that. But once you've got it all set up, uh, you're not going to move your antenna anymore, you're good to go, you don't have to mess with it anymore. Okay, and again, uh, the, the big thing I guess about the retuning or rescanning you have to do it after the switch. That's right. That's so maybe right. that Friday morning at six sure, or five a.m. Sure. Yeah, something. absolutely. So since it's happening at around twelve thirty or so uh, tomorrow morning when you wake up, perfect time to do it. Just set it off while you're running breakfast, eating breakfast, and then uh, we can see your your wonderful face yeah. on TV. <laughs> now maybe they won't do it. Uh, now Dan, if they have Direct TV or uh, Comcast, any of the cable systems, Charter. What, Knowledge, do they need to do anything? That's a great question. It's a great question. I believe that's been a source of some confusion through this whole process is if you've got cable or satellite, this doesn't apply to you unless, of course, you're using one of these guys, Rabbit Ears, to get your local channels. Now, for Comcast and Charter people who are using cable, it doesn't apply to you at all. Okay. The only people that it might apply to are people who have satellite, uh, but by and large, the DISH and the DirecTVs, um, you're getting your channels through them anyway. You're probably not using that. But, you know, say for instance, like we talked about in the past, um, I've got this in my kitchen, right. but I've got satellite in the living room. Well, your kitchen you're going to have to deal with. Yeah. Your living room, you're not going to have to touch anymore. Okay. All right. Hope this all goes off. I'm sure it will. <laughs> oh, it will. <laughs> it's going to go off either way. Dan, thanks, thanks very much. much. All right, we're going to move over to this. By the way, one more, uh, more information on the DTV transition. For June 12th tomorrow, you can call one 888 dtv 2009 We also have lots of resources and a special section on our website, WBIR. Com. Now, one thing's for sure, the conversion to digital has had everyone rethinking their television sets and checking in with the folks who repair them. And we talk with the folks at Southern TV in Maryville, where they've been working on television since days before cable, about this new television age. People are going to upgrade into the digital as far as plasma or LCD. Of course, sales will be up and hopefully service will stay with it too. They always have the option to go and repair theirs or buy new at that point. If you got an old one that's getting on its last leg, you can go ahead and time is right to purchase a new one. 
And no matter what brand of television you use or you have cable or antenna, tomorrow marks the end of an era. Analog signals have been with us from the dawn of the television age and has brought us amazing pictures from the moon landing to the marriage of Prince Charles and Lady Diana. And we wish it a very fond farewell.